So we're talking today about integrity. Does anybody know what integrity means? Does anybody, have you guys ever heard that word? What it, what it means to be in integrity with someone else? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Integrity. Anybody know what that means? Okay. Um, let me explain it. So integrity is where your words match your actions. Okay? So what you say, you also do. You don't just say it, but you actually live it in everything that you do, right? In all areas of your life. Um, and integrity too, guys, it's not this, we have a, a short definition here, doing what is right even when it is difficult. That's another way to say it, okay? So you're doing what is right even when it is difficult. And you're also doing what's right when people are watching, when your mom and dad are watching, right? And when nobody's watching. Because there's a lot of times in your life where you have a decision to make and when nobody's watching, sometimes it's easy to not make the right decision, right? So, for example, there was this, uh, if I can find them, this little boy, and uh, this is a, a true story. It's an elementary school in South Lyon. I'm not gonna say the name of it. But I was talking to one of the principals one time, and he said that there was this boy that was throwing these rocks at the school building after school one day, right? He was trying to break one of those bells, like the school buzzer that goes off when the school bell rings, right? And he's trying to hit it and trying to break it, right? And nobody was around him. But the principal saw him throwing these rocks through his window. And so he runs outside and he's like, get in my office, come over here, get in here. And he pulls the kid aside and he says, what are you doing? He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I just saw you throwing rocks at the building. He's like, no, I wasn't. He's like, I just saw you doing that. He's like, well, I didn't think that anybody was watching. And see, so guys, true character, true integrity, it's not just doing what's right when people are watching, right? When, when we know that somebody's watching, but it's doing what's right even when no one's looking. And ultimately, we know that God is always looking. Right? We can't hide anywhere and do anything without him seeing. And so when we know what's right in our heart, then we kind of feel that. I have one other example. When I was growing up, <laughs> any of you guys play baseball out there? Any Detroit Tigers fans? They're going to win the World Series this year, right? Hopefully. All right. Anyways, I remember <laughs> playing baseball in my front yard of my house. With, with, with my friend, and I was trying to be like Babe Ruth, right? So I was pointing way back there, doing like a home run derby with, with my friend. And I, I remember I had this problem growing up that <laughs> a lot of times when I swung the bat, I didn't hold on to the bat. And so I, when I was playing rec baseball growing up, a lot of times I would hit the ball and then just kind of throw the bat or just not just set it down nicely, but I always had a tendency to just let it go flying, right? So of course, I connected and I crushed. I crushed that ball, right? And it went way down the street. Uh, it was a home run by a long by a long shot. But my bat also went flying too, and it went right through my parents' front bay window of the house. So, what did I do? I panicked. <laughs> I panicked, and uh, has anyone ever said to themselves, "My parents are going to kill me"? Before? Yeah. Really? Not, not these kids in this program. No, come on. And that was, that was one of my moments that I said that to myself. And uh, so I tried to hide it. I uh, covered the broken part of the box, or the broken part of the window with the box. And uh, my dad didn't find out about this uh, for a couple days. Anyways, uh, it was getting kind of cold in the house. And... Um, <laughs> One of these chilly summer nights, I guess, back before El, El Nino was a fact and everything else, but he ended up searching around the house and saw that this window was broken. And he came up to me and you know, he asked me what, what had happened and I made up a lie. I said, I don't know, dude, maybe some kid 
you know, these kids these days are you know throwing rocks and, <laughs> and uh, so he he kept kind of searching for an answer and eventually um, he kind of heard it to the grapevine from one of my friends that was playing baseball that day from their parents of what had really happened that day and so he came back and do you think he was more upset that he found out a week and a half later than he would have been when I first happened or do you think he was a little not as upset what, what do you think more upset or less more because I hid the truth from him because I didn't do what was right and listen I'm not saying that doing what's right guys is easy because for me to tell my dad that I just broke their window or you broke something over your parents or did whatever something that you shouldn't have done I'm not saying that telling the truth or doing something like that is, is, the, is easy to do it takes courage and guts but it is the right thing to do and so that's an example of integrity right where you do the right thing even when it's difficult can I get a, about seven volunteers up here seven kids uh, just, just, just come up here you don't have to read anything today I want to do one more example just to reinforce what I'm talking about here, okay? I'll take this off so you guys don't get blinded. All right, so look at... All you guys get a box. Okay, this, this guys, is what I like to call the tower of trust. Here's how it works, okay? So who's got box number one? You got one number one? Okay, let's set it up down here, uh, other way. All right, so for example, your parents say eat your vegetables, and you do it. You just build, you just build their trust up a little bit, right? Okay, who's got box number two? Okay, number two, come on here. Stack it on there, but kind of go crisscross. Perfect. Your parents say, clean your room, and you do it. And you build their trust, right? Number three. They say to do it again for the following week, and clean the bathrooms, and, and you do it, right? All right? Number four. Your parents ask you to wash the windows, and you do it without hesitation. Okay? There we go. Build their trust. Number five. Your parents say treat your brother and sister kind for a year, and you guys do it. There we go. Number six. Number six. You don't complain ever. Build their trust. Box number seven. Okay. You say, Mom, Dad, I'm never going to fight with my brother ever again. And you keep to that promise, too. Hold their trust. Okay? Now, box number eight is not going to fit. However, never. You will, so let's see what gets you. That was a joke. All right, now, here's the thing, guys. Here's what I'm trying to get at, is that it takes weeks and months to build this trust, right? To build doing what's right, even when it's difficult, all right? Doing your chores, telling the truth, being honest about things, right? It takes so long to build this up, but just one time where you don't eat your vegetables and you just, and you just feed them the dog and then your parents find out, or you hide all your toys under your bed or in your closet and they find out too, and you're not honest, you're not truthful. Just one time that you guys break that trust, what took so long to build up can come tumbling down in just a couple of seconds. I'm supposed to fall towards you, that's okay. So, it's just another example to kind of reinforce what we're going to talk about today, integrity, doing what's right, even when it's difficult, even when someone's watching, even when no one's watching. Give these guys a round of applause, good job.